Welcome back to Soda City Live. Be eventful in Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church are teaming up once again for their annual summer send off. Now, I'm so excited to have this guest here today. We have Bria Bethea. She is the owner of Be Eventful. Um, she, you were here last year. Yes. That was your first year. You even brought a chef with yes. you with uh, Spicy Voodoo, who is now going on to do big things. Big things. We're going to talk about that in just a minute, but I'm so excited because last year was so successful. Yes. Uh, tell our viewers a little bit about uh, what you all do at the Summer Send Off. So the Summer Send Off, like you said, I partnered with my church, Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church. Um, my pastor is Rock Sims. Um, we host it every year. It's a vendor fair as well. So we have about this year, 15 vendors, um, three outdoor vendors. Unfortunately, Cedric with Spicy Voodoo can't be there, but we do have um, Pasta To Go, Sherpa's it Italian Ice, Zussi Soul Food, and a lot more vendors. Mm -hmm. And we also have the most school supplies I think I've ever collected. Yeah. Um, we've had donations from Omega Gamma Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Donate, uh, Pacific Dental Services, about five of their offices donated, and we had a lot of individual monetary donations, as well as church members. So we give back every year to the kids in the community, the Columbia area in general, um, and we want to spot, put a spotlight on all the small businesses in the area as well. Absolutely, and you being a business yourself, you understand the importance of you yes. know having that support from the community, and also you're giving back, so that is amazing. Yes. Anytime I think a business is able to give back, it just really shows just where their heart is. You know, you know, as a business owner, sometimes there are things that you need, so you understand Absolutely. what it's like to kind of be in need of things. And then you were once a student; we were all there. Yes. Uh, those <laughs> supplies can be a little pricey, especially when you gotta live. You got food, right. you got clothes, you got all other types of things that you need to focus on. But this event is. Um, allowing people to have a little bit of fun. You know, school has already started mm -hmm. for some people, right. and then some people are going later. Um, and, and I love the fact that this event is growing. Yes, and it makes me so excited every year to talk about it, how it's just going to keep growing. Um, we have DJ Juice. He's going to be DJing, playing some good music. Um, we have Desire Beauty Studios wrapping up some facials. Awesome. Um, yeah, we have performances by local dance teams, the Warehouse Dance Academy, Miss Bree Teachings. Um, she has a dancer coming. And Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church praise dancers are performing. And we have bounce houses, games, um, Club Will Entertainment. They are donating a lot of games as well. I'm really excited for it. It's a fun day. It's a fun day. It's a fun day. <laughs> you got the food, you got the entertainment, you got the supplies. Yes. And you also have a very present event planner in case yes. you have an event <laughs> yes. that you need. And you know what? I think that's one of the things that makes your event very special. You are an event planner. So yes. you know this is your thing. This is your My realm. Thing. <laughs> this is your realm. What in what ways were you able to kind of give this event your per your personal touch? Um, that's a great question. I'm able to Event planning is like my passion, and I love being able to give my talents back to God because He gave them to me. Amen. So, by, amen. <laughs> so, by planning this event every year, I think I'm able to grow as an event planner. Mm -hmm. I'm able to reach out to more vendors, um, grow my network, grow other people's network. Um, one of our vendors, Carrot Customs, who does our selfie booth, she also makes my shirts now nice. for all of my all of my things, all of my clients for marketing and events. So it works out well for not just me, but the mm -hmm. other vendors that come as well. And you're building some lasting relationships. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Well, I know this is going to be just as successful as last year and it's going to continue you. to grow. You're going to have to block off Feral Road next time. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the goal. Also, awesome. Well, Bria, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to take a look at your screen right there. This event is going to be happening this weekend, this yes. Saturday, so very, very soon. So 11 to 4, again, Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church that's located on Farrell Road, and this event is free. It is free. <laughs> it is free. Uh, what about for the food? Do they need to still bring money? So, yeah, food? Um, yeah, vendors will be selling food, um, but the games are free. The bounce house are free. But you can definitely come support all of our local vendors and purchase some items from them. I'm glad we will all appreciate that. <laughs> Sounds good. And if anyone wants to support, maybe not just come out and, you know, receive, yes. but if they like to give to what you are doing, how can they do so? Oh, yeah, you can definitely um, message me, email me, and I can connect you with how to donate financially if you'd like to. Perfect. How, how can they get in touch with you? Um, my email is b.eventful.planning at gmail.com. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're going to take a quick, quick break. Thank you again for joining us. We'll have these details online, SodaCityLive.com. Uh, Soda and we'll be right back with more Soda City Live, stay with us.